Here we have another example of the power of modeling superplasticity. In this example, I will show you that by using an axis system in the correct fashion, not necessarily just simply isolated, we have a lot of flexibility, or as I like to say, superplasticity to the model. You'll notice I have several drivers set up in a geometrical set. These drivers control the orientation and the location of my, is what we like to call a doghouse. If I come in and modify this plane, what you'll notice is the doghouse in its complete form moves and updates. You'll also notice that the lower end of the doghouse as it gets closer and closer to the waterfall or the fall off, the model also updates. Now, what you'll note, even when the model wants to fail or do something odd, it's not a total, complete, catastrophic failure. As this gets closer to the edge, it wants to um, create a condition in which it no longer wants to fully or completely update. So, in this case, it completely inverted its orientation. As soon as I back out, you'll notice it corrects itself. You'll also note that the bottom edge is updating as it travels along my surface. I can also do the same thing with this direction. I can also control the orientation with this point. I can also control the direction in which the doghouse is leaning. Now you'll notice The solid does update. There are no failures, and it is a completely morphable part.